is in a kilometer race if a gives b a 40 meter start a wins by 19 seconds but if a gives b a 30 second start b wins by 40 meters find the time taken by b to run 5000 meters all right so question from races or in a way you can say it also uh, is like time and distance right it's all about time speed and distance here so what does it say it says in a kilometer race basically there's a running race here and the distance to be covered is one kilometer so in a kilometer race if a gives b a 40 meter start now this is very important uh, for us to understand right? a gives b a 40 meter start what does it mean a gives b a 40 meter start so you'll understand that but then what happens if a gives b a 40 meter start a wins by 19 seconds a wins the race by 19 seconds then there's one more situation here it says if a gives b a 30 second start see earlier a had given b a 40 meter start now a is giving b a 30 second start a gives b a 30 second start in that case b wins by 40 meters b wins by 40 meters all right now find the time taken by b to run 5000 meters so basically we have to find out the time that b takes to cover a distance of 5000 meters so that would depend on the speed see if you have to find out the time you got to know the distance and the speed distance is given here 5000 meters now the question is what is the speed of b if you can find out the speed of b then you'll be able to answer the question easily so let's work on finding out the speed of the b understand the terms first right understand the points given here right like the first point it says a gives b a 40 meter start what does it mean see the race is for one kilometer right let's say this is the starting point and this is the finishing point right the race is for one kilometer which is thousand meters right it is a thousand meter long race now a gives b a 40 meter start means what a would actually be at the starting point but b will be a little ahead of a right a is at this point b is a little ahead of a and b is how much ahead 40 meters ahead right a gives b a 40 meter start means b is 40 meters ahead of a already 40 meters ahead of a right b is 40 meters ahead of a so this distance is 40 and then the remaining distance is 960 You're able to follow this is the starting point where a is standing in in some point in between b stands and of course this is a finishing point so if we try and observe the the race now is what in this competition b has to cover only 960 right but a has to cover 40 plus 960 which is 1000 so the distance to be covered by a is more than the distance to be covered by b now if you see it says in this scenario a wins by 19 seconds a has won the race by 19 seconds so let's assume if b takes uh you know b takes or, or let's say if uh you know uh, yeah b takes t seconds a would take t minus 19 seconds right in this case let us assume b takes t seconds to cover this distance which distance the 960 meters distance then a would take how much time a would take t minus 19 seconds see a wins the race by 19 seconds means what a will take 19 seconds lesser to cover his part of the distance when compared to b so b has covered the distance in t seconds which distance 960 meters a has covered 1000 meters 960 plus 40 1000 meters in t minus 19 seconds so that's the point basically right a takes t minus 19 seconds to cover 1000 meters b takes t seconds to cover 960 meters right this 960 meters that's it now from this can we say speed of a is equal to see what will be the speed of a a has covered 1000 meters speed is equal to distance by time so 1000 by t minus 19 how about speed of b speed of b will be equal to b has covered how much distance 960 meters in what time t seconds so speed of a is 1000 by t minus 19 while the speed of b is 960 by t let's look at the second scenario right what's the second scenario here it says a gives b a 30 second start a gives b a 30 second start so what do you understand from this the same point again right this is the starting point and here's the finishing point let's say the distance to be covered is thousand right thousand meters one kilometer race right now a gives b a 30 second start would mean uh, means what both of them are at the same point right a and b both are at the starting point unlike the previous case where b was ahead of a 40 meters ahead of a here both a and b are at the same point at the starting point right but a gives b a 30 second start so what ha what happens here is what happens here is if let's say uh, you know uh, b takes t seconds 
a would take t minus 30 seconds to cover the distance if b takes t seconds let's say b has been given t seconds a will take t minus 30 seconds i mean you can take it in two different ways right if b takes t seconds a takes t minus 30 or if a takes t seconds then b would take t plus 30 because b has been given 30 seconds extra when compared to a so so basically what happens in such uh, cases you know at the starting point both of them are standing uh, both of them are standing b starts running a is standing there b starts running b runs for 30 seconds and after those 30 seconds a will also start running so for the first 30 seconds for the first 30 seconds only b is running you understand for the first 30 seconds only b runs from the 31st second onwards a and b both run right so that is why if you see the time that a takes is t minus 30 to cover whatever distance he has to cover 1000 meters but time that b takes is t so that's what it means but then if you see b wins by 40 meters in this race b has won by 40 meters right b wins by 40 meters so what do you understand from this b has 1 by 40 meters means what and by the way i cannot take t here the same variable t let's take t dash because we have already used t there right t is already a variable so let's take t dash the time will not be same in both the cases now the point here is b has taken t dash seconds to cover what distance thousand meters yes or no thousand meters see b has won right so basically we can say b has won the race b has covered thousand meters in t dash seconds by the time b has covered thousand meters or you know b has covered thousand meters in t dash seconds a has covered only 960 meters in that t dash minus 30 seconds because b wins by 40 meters right so when b is at the finishing point when b is here when b is at the finishing point a would be 40 meters behind a would be 40 meters behind a would be 40 meters behind you're able to follow so b wins by 40 meters means what if b has taken t dash seconds to cover 1000 meters then a would take t dash minus 30 seconds to cover whatever 960 meters okay now again from this can you find out the distances yes we can say speed of a will be equal to what what is the speed of a speed of a is distance by uh, time right distance by time so uh, 960 divided by t dash minus 30 whereas speed of b is again distance by time distance covered by b is 1000 divided by time is t dash so if you see you know in in both the cases we have got speeds of a and speeds of b can we compare these two yes we can compare these two and uh, you know find out the relationship between t and t dash basically the the point now is solve for t and t dash solve for t and t dash you're getting it once you solve for t and t dash you can get the required answer see we we have to find out what speed of b we have already discussed speed of b is what we are looking for speed of b can either be taken as 1000 by t dash or it can be taken as 960 by t so find out either t or t dash then substitute in the respective equation here to get the value of speed of b once that is done you can solve the question so so like some simplification is required here you need to do that let me just explain that to you i mean this is how you solve it you don't take so much time i'm explaining it to you so it is taking so long and i'm you know doing all this you know drawing and all that which can be cut down in the exam right you can just play with the equations so i'm comparing the speeds of a in both the cases so what do we get speed of a equals to 1000 by t minus 19 which is 960 upon t dash minus 30 whereas speed of b what do we get from speed of b 960 by t equals 1000 by t dash well looks like i'll be short of space here it it may get a little congested to solve this so so if i solve what happens here this is like uh, 14 to 24 and this is 14 to 25 so basically the equation we have is you know let's say i have to i have to find out but similarly here also this is 14 to 25 14 to 24 okay so so from the speed of b equation i can say t dash t dash is equal to 25t upon 24 t dash is equal to 25t upon 24 right let's substitute that in the equation that we have here so i'm looking at speed of a again what happens 25 into cm cross multiplying this cross multiplying right 25 into t dash minus 30 right 25 into t dash minus 30 but t dash can be taken as 25t by 24 
minus 30, which is equal to on the right hand side we'll have 24 into t minus 19. 24 into t minus 19 is 24 into uh, 24 t into 24 into 19. All right. I repeat, we are cross multiplying the speed of a. I mean the equations on speed of a. So 25 into t dash minus 30. 25 into t dash minus 30. We have got t dash as 25 t by 24 minus 30 equals 24 into t minus 19. So 24 into t minus 19 is 24 t minus 24 into 19. Now solve for this. You'll get the value of t from this. You'll solve for t. Whatever is the value of t, substitute in the speed of b. Right? Whatever you value value of t you get here, substitute here to get the speed of b. Once you get the speed of b, then the question is almost done. Now let me solve this, right? I'm, I'm like cutting down a few steps. You just have to solve it yourself. So what happens here? 25 into 25, 625 t by 24 minus 24 t, right? So 25 into 25, 625, 24 into 24 is 576. So I'll have 49 t. So from this, we will get 49 t divided by 24 equals to this 25 into 30 is 750. It goes on the other side, it becomes plus 750 and 24 into 19. So 750 minus 24 into 19. 24 into 19 is what? Uh, 456. So 750 minus 456 will be 294. 294. Yeah. Okay. So 49 gets cancelled how many times in 294? Uh, 245 and 49, right? Yeah. Six times. So t comes out to be 24 into 6. t is equal to 144 seconds. Done. That's the key. t is 144 seconds. Now substitute this value in speed of b. Because we are looking at speed of b, right? Suppose the question says what is the speed of a? Substitute t here, right? Anyways, what is the speed of b? 960 upon 144. 960 upon 144. You can simplify this if you want, but let's consider this the speed 960 by 144 meters per second. Now, finally, what do we have to calculate? We have to find out the time taken by B to run 5000 meters. See, time taken by B to cover 5000 meters, right? What is time? Time is equal to distance by speed. Distance is 5000 by what is the speed? 960 divided by 144. So, this 144 goes in the numerator. Now, solve for this. This is like 24 into 6 and 24 into 40 right or 500 into 3 by 2 750 seconds that will be your answer 750 seconds is there yes option 3 would be the answer now i know this looks lengthy it is time consuming but that's how you deal with it not every question will have a shortcut or a uh, you know or a smart way to arrive at the answer some questions have to be solved using the regular method of course it won't take as much time as we have spent here because i was not solving it i was explaining it when you do it yourself you can cut down a lot of these things and just play with the equations okay so that's about it i think the answer is option 3 750 seconds and all those who have got it are correct